now ranked the most effective member in the Maryland delegation. That's important. The CEO of Total Wine and More sent an email to the company's employees encouraging them to vote in Tuesday's Maryland primary. The email read, it's, quote, important that you put democracy in action and vote for your candidate. Well, this is also Representative David Trone's family business, who is running for the Senate in the Maryland primary. Trone is the co-owner of the $2.4 billion liquor retail chain Total Wine and More, which poured a staggering $61.8 million of his own fortune into a Senate primary bid against Prince George's County Executive Angela Olsobrooks. And I've got the resources to beat Larry Hogan. I've got the persona to beat Larry Hogan. I'm the only candidate that can take Hogan down. And if we don't take Larry Hogan down, the U.S. Senate is Republican. Also, Brooks is also endorsed by top congressional Democrats. I think she has not just an integrity, but also a grace that uh, that our state uh, that our state uh, deserves. Angela Alsterbrooks is the stronger candidate. She's the best candidate. I'm proud to have endorsed her. Uh, she's the best candidate to run against Larry Hogan. In the email to hundreds of Total Wine and more employees, CEO Troy Rice wrote, Voters in Maryland will decide the Democratic and Republican Party candidates for local offices, as well as U.S. House of Representatives, U.S. Senate, and President of the United States. As you are probably aware, our co-owner, U.S. Representative David Trone, is seeking the Democratic nomination to be Maryland's next United States Senator. The email to staff members at Total Wine & More comes as Trone faces scrutiny from legal experts over his personal finances in connection to the company before the primary. Trone has said he relinquished all operational responsibility from Total Wine & More, but he has maintained top leadership roles for the company and appears to have failed to disclose his stake in Total Wine offshoots.